Ladies and gentlemen, Miracle Boy Boxing, I am your host, Hosting Cruz, and the new IBF Bantamweight World Champion, Emmanuel Mani Sensacional Rodriguez, guys. Last night, Puerto Rico gained a new world champion, became, Puerto Rico gained their fifth world champion for the island. It's been, it's been some time since Puerto Rico has um, gathered uh, the amount of world champions they have right now for some time. Been a minute. There was a there was a draw. There was a dry. There was a dry spell. Uh, a draw. A drought. Um, a very empty uh, space for for a minute. Puerto Rico, you know, not having any world champions at all for some time, and. You know, last year was a was not a, was not too good of a year for us. This year, you know, has been one of the best years in Puerto Rican boxing. As we, as you all, um, if you've been following it, you will know fifth five world champions now the island has. So that shows you the success Puerto Rico has been having this year so far, and we're not even done. We're we're about halfway through the year, and there's still a lot more to go. But um. Let's get into the fight, guys. Last night, Manny Rodriguez displayed a excellent display of boxing skills. Um, the right hand was there. The jab was there. Um, could have gone to the body a little more. Um, but once he did that, as you saw in the last round against Melvin, Melvin, he was able to drop Melvin three times. Almost got a stoppage, TKO. Um, if it had like a minute left, Melvin would not have made it out of that fight, that round. Rodrigo would have gotten the TKO stoppage, but I think if he could have, I think Manny could have done that a year or two, a, a, a round or two prior. If he had stepped on the gas and just let his hands go, go to the body, you know, that sense of urgency, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Manny had to deal with a swelling around his eye due to headbutts. Melvin coming in with his head three times. The, the headbutt occurred right on that eye, and it just, you know, the eye was just getting worse. And I was a little bit concerned because, you know, they can't stop it. And they're going to, they would have given Melvin the TKO win because based on the, the ruling over there in Maryland, after four rounds, if the fight is stopped due to a swelling, based on a, from a punch, then they can now, they can no longer go to the scorecard. They can't go to the scorecards because they claim, the commission claimed that it was from a punch. And, but majority know, like I know, <clears throat> it's from a headbutt. It was from a headbutt. But be that as it may, Manny Rodriguez got the job done. He looks sensational as his name as his name is. He boxed excellently. The jab was there. The right hand was there all night. Sharp, precise, accurate. Um... Besides the swelling in his eye, Manny just delivered an excellent performance. Melvin had nothing for him. And Melvin had his moments. You know, he was popping Mel um, Rodrigo with some jabs. And uh, some good counters here and there, but it was not enough. Not enough. Rodrigo was the prep, was brought the pressure all night. The, the landed the most effective blows. Um, did basically what he wanted to do to Melvin. And... Uh, here he is, Manny Rodrigo, is two-time IBF world champion now in the 118-pound division. Um, you know, Melvin Rodriguez sticks his claim as a top 118 118-pounder. He's been a top fighter for some time, and he still is. Just made 31 in his prime now, physical, physical prime. Um, his only blemish, in my opinion, is to Inoue. Now you know the monster. His fight with Caballo, we all know he was robbed in that fight. He outboxed Caballo, and they, they, they didn't give him the decision. So the, the Inouye fight was really the only blemish loss in his career. Um, everything else was just uh, all Manny. Um, on to better and bigger things for Manny. Um, he's definitely going to go, going to go for that unification with Santiago. Another chapter in the Mexico-Puerto Rico rivalry. That's a trick. That will be a tremendous fight. Santiago comes to fight. Um, when he gets things going, throws a lot of punches. Well, Manny, man, he's a very technical, sharp boxer. 
excellent timing, excellent counter, counter puncher, um, precise, can actually, I know, comes forward and bangs it out as well. So it's a hell of a fight. It's a hell of a fight. Um, Manny's going to train his butt off, as we know, in Mexico. And, of course, Santiago's going to do the same. And when these two guys come together and clash, it's going to be an all-time. It's going to be one of the best. Um, should be one of the best fights in Mexico political history. Should be a good one. Should be a good chapter. And may the best man win. Uh, of course, I'm rocking on my own, but that's a great fight. Um... Uh, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about, man. New champion of the world. And um, Puerto Rico has, has gained their fifth world champion this year. Very impressive. From zero champions to five world champions now. So last year when you had Boma as a male world champion and Amanda Serrano. Now we got three, we got Oscar Collazo, we got Surya Matias, we got Manny Rodriguez, and now we got Bomba. So we got four male world champions and one female. Amanda, the real deal, Serrano, one of the best that are playing on a pair of gloves. So these five world champions that we got right now, you know, these are no slouches. Puerto Rico. You know, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough task to take these five world champions out, take the belts from, from them. So <laughs> these five world champions that we got you guys got to come hard to get them because the five world champions that we got I have no doubt they're going to they're going to be defending it with pride honor and they won't let it go that easy so Miracle with Boxing I am your host hosting Cruz Manny Rodriguez is the new world champion this is Miracle with Boxing I'm your host and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. Peace.